I am Dr Nick Peake and I work in the School of Engineering and Materials Science at Queen Mary University London. I'm a researcher investigating a new pathway which we hope could lead to a treatment for patients with osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is a very painful condition which is caused by damage to the joints. We can see that the cartilage which sits on the end of the bone to allow smooth movement is worn away in the joints with patients with arthritis. In x-rays you can see that the joint space disappears, the bones rub together and that causes a lot of pain. There's nothing that can actually replace the missing cartilage so at the moment the only treatment is to relieve that pain and eventually to replace the joint in more serious conditions. The School of Engineering and Material Science is using a, a variety of approaches to improve treatment and management of osteoarthritis. For example, we know that mechanics is very helpful to joints. That is, that the movement, walking or physiotherapy has very beneficial effects. And we use some engineering approaches here at uh, Queen Mary to model how movement benefits cartilage. One of the things we can do is collect the cells that are responsible for the maintenance of cartilage and put them into a gel, which we can then compress to stretch and mimic the forces that a joint would undergo as it moves in real life. When we do that, we see that it lowers the inflammation you see in disease joints and contributes to the nasty cartilage breakdown that you can see. It can also kickstart processes that repair cartilage by producing proteins that make up the nicer glossy stuff that keeps joints moving. So in my research uh, in particular we've been looking at a protein called CMP which we know is produced in healthy cartilage and when we put this protein onto cells it has beneficial effects on inflammation and repair. But what's really interesting is that when you combine CMP and movement they complement each other so you multiply the beneficial effects of both of them. We have recently published a study looking at two proteins in cartilage that we know that CMP sticks to. We identified that patients with osteoarthritis start to produce more of these and you can see these glowing green in our microscope slides of patient cartilage. In our study we worked out how movement alters these two proteins to have the beneficial effects. This research is still in the early stages so the next step is that myself and Dr Tina Chowdhury would like to use an animal model and that would show that that aiming for this pathway is a beneficial approach to treating arthritis and hopefully that moves us closer towards treating patients.